Hey guys, welcome back to the Juno Way of Life. My name's David. Uh, today I'm joined by Cody. He's going to help me out with the, the demo. Uh, I was asked a question on Instagram, and the question was to do a video basically, or if I could do a video about the difference between Hizagaruma and Sasai Surikomiyashi, uh, which is, I think, possibly quite a common question. I've been asked it quite a bit uh, in the club. And so I thought I'd do my best to go through some of the differences between the two throws. There's a bit of a mis misconception um, because of the, the, the can, they do look relatively similar, I think. Uh, but for me, well, not just for me, I just don't think they're. Uh, there's not there's more differences than there are similarities between the two throws uh, and a lot of it comes down to the the setup the execution uh, and the, the mechanics of the actual uh, the movements of the throw so i want to do these the best i can uh, in a traditional format so uh, as a left hander uh, i'm attacking the leg to the sleeve side uh, for the action of movement uh, in terms of uh, we'll go his first as it's the the, uh, the first out of the two in the gokyo so his knee wheel the, the action we're looking for for this throw is a, is a circular action. So I'm going to be on the sleeve of lapel and I'm stepping wide. I'm coming on the out step of my palm. I'm going to around his position. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm pointing my foot uh, towards my partner to allow me to be able to get that nice circular movement. And as I'm coming and stepping, I'm drawing uh, Cody on. I'm bringing the sleeve over, and in terms of my position um, with my lapel grip, I'm trying to create this circular reaction. So as I come here, I'm wheeling Cody round, and then my foot is going just below the knee. Uh, I'm angling my toes, and I'm coming to the front, and I'm just trying to cut just the top of uh, Cody's shin, just below his knee, uh, and I want to be just in front of his um, in front of his leg. So if I step, I'm looking for that reaction. As I come round, I'm trying to generate that step forward. And then as I bring my leg up, that's where I'm going to catch for the throw. In terms of my arms and where they're going, throughout the movement, I'm looking to maintain this big, big wheel big circle and um, I'm not coming too close I'm not stepping in too close to hold it um, and I mean the clues in the name neat wheel so the difference then with between the Hizagum and the Sasai Surikomiyashi if we look at the Sasai Surikomiyashi it's very much uh, it's a lift and pulling action so I'm stepping Initial step, I'm coming much closer uh, in terms of um, not closer this way. Uh, okay, so for his, I'm going to the out step and I'm going further out to the side. For the Sasa, I'm going to be looking towards being just slightly on Cody's instep. I don't want to be any closer because I'm going to be able to block myself out, uh, but I'm further in. Now, in terms of the gripping, uh, still on the sleeve of lapel but I'm lifting my partner on. So I'm drawing them on through the sleeves, and this would be the, the pulling action, and the lapel here would be the, the lifting action. And I'm trying to come under, underneath so I can drive Cody up. I'm not trying to like lift here, I'm lifting here, and then drawing on, and then placing my foot just at the base uh, of the, the ankle, before the ankle is, is at the top of the foot. And yes, again, I am turning my foot and I'm at the front. And there is a slight similarity in terms of this action, but the actual execution of the throw is, is quite different. So if I do this last time, I'm, I'm lifting and pulling and drawing Cody on. And there is a little bit of the rotation to obviously get Cody from his back being here to his back being there. But for me, there's, there's far less rotation and, and circular movement than there is with the Hizagaruma. So again, stepping in for Hizagaruma. 
nice big circular movement. We're stepping in for the sasai and we're pulling, pulling up to a much closer. So, I suppose really, sasai surikomiyashi, and you'd be looking at maybe harai surikomiyashi would be a much closer comparison and be asking what's the difference between Sasai Surikomiyashi and Harai Surikomiyashi I think that's where there'd be more of a, a similar dynamic and, and elements of the, the throws go together and for me like Hijaguruma and something like maybe the Ashigaruma uh, would be actually a lot a lot closer in similarities in terms of the, the nature of the throw and the, the requirements to, to get the throw done I thought it would be a nice idea to try and do a little bit of uh, competition analysis uh, to include in this to go through how the two throws differ uh, when you're looking at them in a competition scenario. Uh, and then I was going through some of the compilations for both Hizuguruma and Sasai Surikomiyashi and inevitably ran into the, the fun and games that usually goes alongside these it is uh, obviously people interpreting things differently um, in a competition environment. Competition judo is very different to um, what I would call sort of grading judo perhaps, where it's, you're looking to do the most traditional and accurate representation of the throw, where in competition you're trying to win with an ipon um, in its simplest form. And it doesn't really matter what throw is what classification of throw it is. Uh, and so I was going through the um, a few of the different compilations and came across this is this this it's not really an issue, but you know this this thing in terms of uh, looking at the different throws. So uh, here you see obviously it's, um, uh, it says there here's a groomer compilation, and we've got the nice big throw. Um, There he goes, right the way over. Um, nice, big hip on. Um, beautiful in the Hizuguruma compilation. And then if I just change over to my other screen. Ooh. So you'll see, um, same throw by Moneta, um, but this time it's labeled as a Sasai Surikomi Ashi. Um, so, at the end of it, you know, which one is it? Is it a Sasai or is it a Hizuguruma? Now, um, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, I would say that this would be a Sasai. Um, as you can see there, uh, he's lifting up through that grip. He's pulling on. Now he's not got the, the traditional sort of sleeve and lapel grip, but he's still lifting right up here. The I don't think you can see it from that angle, uh, but the foot's low, it's low down on the leg. But it's more that lifting and pulling action that we're, we were talking about in terms of the, the throw. Um, so let's begin and watch it again. So you just see there. Okay, a nice big lift. So he's actually on the sleeve grip here that he's lifting through. He's on the elbow and he's lifted right up and he's got that arch in his back um, and he's come right up underneath. Um, as I was saying, you want to get down underneath and lift up through your partner, not lifting your partner up, uh, but you're coming underneath and driving them up. Uh, and he's just, he's done just that. He's come right underneath um, and he's driven up. And you see how he turns and lands and finishes the throw off. Beautiful. So I've got a, uh, another Hizuguruma compilation, so we'll watch this first one. You see how it comes in, and it's much more of that circular motion. There's no real lift, so he's got the grip around the back and he circles round um, and catches his opponents um, as he's going round. So he's got the one grip as he comes, he's catching underneath, but he's got a nice circular movement. Um, I don't have the technology yet to get, uh, I want any one of those whiteboards, like uh, fancy TVs like Travis Stevens so I can draw all over it. 
Um, but right now I'm just gonna make do with this. Uh, but I'll try and pause at the right time. So there, see how he's got his leg, you know, it's, it's, a, it's sort of across the knee, so he hasn't got his foot placed on the knee. Um, and again, this is the beauty of competition judo. It doesn't always, it's not always gonna be exactly precise, um, but he's got a circular movement. All right, he's not coming up and driving in, he's come round um, and he's brought his uh, opponent right over. Um, he's driving through the uh, that back grip there with his left hand and he's wheeling him right the way over um, for the throw. It's one more time on there. So as he comes through, steps around, big circular movement, big wheel over and gets the throw. Well, I hope that answered the question, and if anyone else was wondering, I hope that answered the question, and uh, I think you're very right. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you disagree with me. Um, or if there's any other questions you'd like me to answer, make sure you let me know. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.